Hello Martians, this is Neo Sailor Mars and we are here for OhioCon 2023. I'm here of course really early to pick up my badge and there's not much that's gonna go on, probably. But if there is, I'll let you guys know. Um, so I've got like two and a half hours to kill. So I'm just gonna wait around and get my badge and if anything else happens, I'll let you guys know. So I'll see you guys after badge pickup, hopefully. I don't know, I hope I remember. <laughs> I look like a mess because it was windy outside, so it blew my hair all over the place, but I got my badge, and, um, uh, I'm sure I'll repeat it tomorrow, but, um, tomorrow we've got an Attack on Titan panel, which features Lauren Landa, 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 I'm, I'm tired, guys, I've been up since, like, early in the morning, so I'm tired, Lauren Landa, Jessica Calvallo, and Trina Nishimura, and then it's autographs from then. And then we've got the roast with Justin Nordell. And yeah, that's it for Friday, but I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sure I'll repeat it, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so we are at the convention. I'm again cosplaying Shinobu because it's popular. <laughs> um, so we've got today an Attack on Titan panel with Jessica Calvello, Lauren Landa, and Trina Nishimura. And then autographs, I don't know what the order is going to be. <laughs> but um, I will see you guys for the Attack on Titan panel and show my question from that. And then it's right to autographs, so I probably won't have time to talk afterwards. Hi, um, so my question for you guys is, we know that uh, that um, Attack on Titan is taxing on the voice between the acting, the screaming, everything. So my question is, what was the hardest scene for you guys to record, either screaming-wise, acting-wise, anything like that? Oh, yeah. For me, the one, the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, from the first season, uh, when uh, the female Titan is in the forest and she screams like for all the other little Titans to come on, like to come by. Uh, oh my God, Jessica, come on, everybody! <laughs> I'm terrible. I don't have my glasses on, so I didn't see that you were up here until you like, Hi, I'm sorry for being late. I just hate what no. I'm doing right now, so please keep talking. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, let her introduce herself. And say, yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, so. Myself and, and Bryce and all the other actors who play Titans as well, we all do the screaming for those Titans. That's not from the original Japanese. We also dub that as well. Uh, and that was unbelievably hard on my voice. Uh, and we had to wait till the very end to do that. And I just remember being in a lot of pain at the end of that. So that was probably the most difficult for me. What about you? Um, the most challenging scene from there's so many. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming. Uh, but yeah, I think um, the most challenging scene um, for me to record, uh, without giving any of you spoilers, uh, occurred on a rooftop, and there was a choice to be made. And uh, oh. yes. yeah, it was really hard. It was a really emotionally taxing day. Um, there was a lot of crying, um, and it it took a whole pizza for me to come back after that one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that, was, that, was a, that was a challenging day. I, I say. Uh, the first question was, do you remember, what was the most challenging scene to record? Oh, oh. I love you. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what was the most challenging scene to record that okay. you can remember in Titan? Uh, honestly, like this would have been back in season one. Uh, there was the the famous Han Mike would always the Hanji episode because it was mostly Hanji talking the whole time. It's where we got to learn about Hanji's naming scheme for the Titans. Um, you mean like Sonny and Bean? Sonny and Bean, the Sonny and Bean episode. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Two. I don't want to talk about it right now because you are a betraying, betraying. <laughs> Lauren and I have a fake feud. It's not really fake. A uh, fake feud going on about how she offed my children. She's got to get over it. I'll never get over it. 
<laughs> I will never get over it. We will, we, no, we will yell at each other across from our autograph tables and she'll just all of a sudden be like, I killed your kids. Hee hee hee, I'm Terrible. So mean. I love you. I love you too. Uh, uh, anyway, so I don't really don't know what I was talking about. I have uh, really had ADHD. Scene. Challenge yeah. scene. So yeah, it was a Sony because so, so the, the whole challenge and uh, the whole challenge for Hanji with me throughout, which is really displayed in the scene, I think, is to make sure that Hanji doesn't get too, too crazy. And then when Hanji is delivering exposition and strategizing and being like, you know, the fearless commander and whatnot, that it doesn't get boring. Um, and so I got to make sure the highs aren't too, too high and the lows aren't too, too low. I got to sort of try to my best to keep Hanji really in the middle. But Hanji does have those crazy moments, and Hanji does have those real serious strategizing moments. So for that particular episode, that was the most difficult one for me to make sure that I was keeping that balanced because Hanji is genuinely upset in that episode, ah! you know. And so it's funny, but also it's real to Hanji. And so I can't be too comical there. Did you just go? Oh, you don't give a shit. I will watch my language in here because I see a little bit of me nose, but um, you don't give a shot. So it, it's the thing about comedy too, right? Is like, if you play it to be, ha ha, I'm so funny, I'm so funny, it's not going to be funny because those are very real moments to Hanji. So that was probably my most challenging episode. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And And then I also have a gift for you. <laughs> Thank you. I got a gift. Oh my god, you did. Okay. <laughs> if you ever transform into my son again, I swear. And also, for you JoJo fans, good boy. Oh, yeah, if you want to bring it right back. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, by the way. Of course. And also, before I forget, I have a gift for you again. Oh! I still have it on my bag, the other one. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, is this Tani Hara? Yes. Oh, uh, oh, you're my favorite person. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, literally. I feel so honored. No, I'm honored that you like made. Oh, I didn't make it. I got. But uh, yeah, you found it, which is like yeah. you had it made. Like that's still cool. Um, I still have Skila on my bag. Oh He's my a little gosh. dirty right now, but I need to, but I still have him. Yes. I literally I have so him. Happy. I'm like, literally I keep talking about that every year. Every time I go to a con, people are like, what's that? I'm like, so this really cool person gave me a Skila EO. That's the only Saint Seiya merch I have. Um, I need to tell the artist that. Please, please do. There you go. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank All right, so I couldn't get reporting for Lauren and Xander, but I got my Persona 5 hat signed by Xander. I got a hug and a picture with him, and I said, you know, because he was announced pretty last minute, I tried to look for a gift for you on it, like Etsy, and I couldn't find anything that would arrive in time, and he said, it's okay, you being here is, you know, enough, and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and then I met Lauren, and she was super sweet. She, I gave her a little Sailor Neptune plushie with the button eyes, and um, she loved it so much. Um, I got an air hug with her and I got a picture and I, we talked a little about um, how the last time she was here was from Matsuri Con 2017, which was like six years ago. And um, how she told dad jokes with Erica Mendez. And yeah, she was super sweet. Um, she asked me where I got my Attack on Titan hat and I told her I got that off eBay. So we're online to see Jessica now. Um, and yeah, for her autograph session. So hopefully I will be able to record for that. And yeah, if not, I'll tell you about what happened. Nick Shepard got me into it. Oh, really? He shipped me a free DVD of that for being a longtime fan. Okay. And so I watched it and so I loved it so much. It's so, it's so weird. I love it too. It's a bizarre, bizarre show. I'm glad you like it though. And what is your name? Sarah with F-E-H. Okay, so S-A-R-A. -A. Yes. Hi, Sarah! <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I seem out of it. I'm no. just a smidge bit hungry. No, that's okay. I'm going to switch to black though. Sarah! These are all weak. Come on, come on, give me a good one. Sarah, oh my god, what? I'm trying to think of something that she says. I can't think of one thing this character says. 
Uh, Kitty Hino, right? Your dog's name is Kitty Hino? Akihiko. Akihiko? Akihiko? Who's Kitty Hino? Oh, Kazuhito, not Kitty Hino. Kazuhito. We were close. We were close. Okay. I tell you what, let me just that and make your name look better and my name is is it not to know yes not yeah to know. okay oh and before i forget i have a gift for you oh my gosh thank you you're welcome oh So much, I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, let this dry, okay? Yeah. I want to make sure that dries. And oh my god! I'm signing a hat. <laughs> it's Joseph Joestar. <laughs> signing a hat. Yes. And I also wanted to get you a gift. I have this person who makes these um, plushie commissions, but it wouldn't have arrived in time, and I tried looking for other stuff it just wouldn't have arrived in time so i'm so sorry i owe you one you are just meeting you is my gift oh i feel happy oh. and you want me to just uh, leave it like that you want yeah. me to put joseph joestar or? you can leave it like that if you okay. like all right that's that and then what was the other thing you that is fair let's go for it yeah i didn't know you heard of me before from like How'd you hear about me? Well, um, listen, I try to keep track of everybody who's into any of the games and shows that I uh, work on. So I try to I try to remember everybody. Also, uh, it says your name right here on your badge. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's that also. Absolutely. How I, you doing? Hey, what's up? I so, have a gift for you. What? Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. Where did you get this? I got that off Etsy commission. Oh my gosh. You didn't have to do this. I oh know, my. But I had to. I really appreciate your work. I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories. I love this. Sarah, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh my gosh. He's going to have a little a new little home. Oh my gosh, that is so kind of you. Thank you very, very and much. I don't know if you remember me. I, we met virtually at, on GalaxyCon Live. Oh, okay, on GalaxyCon. I playing Cat Noir. Oh, yes. Excellent. That is awesome. Well, good to see you again. You too, So you're, you're also a fan of Miraculous. Yes. Excellent. Nuru, Darkwings, rise. <laughs> now, get me that Miraculous. He's mean. I know. I try not to be, but uh, sometimes I've got to be mean. That's yes. the way it works. Zhang Li's the nicer version of him. They're slightly different. <laughs> and then, could you please sign my hat? I would love to. And I'm to. so sorry if I'm like rushing you. I'm. For we doing what? No, I'm no, no, so no, 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 no. I wasn't rushing. sure what we were doing. Now that I understand that you what? wanted to film like what was going to happen, as opposed to me just straight doing a video for you. Now I get it. Now it makes sense. Um, let me see. Hold on a second. Because you've got this special hat, and I feel like on this hat, if I don't do silver, it's not going to do it justice. So if you don't mind, I don't know if you want to edit this part. You can keep filming, but I'm just saying you might edit this part out because it's going to be boring for a second here. Because i got to make this pen work. We're going to make this nice hat. This is great. So you have covered Miraculous, Hunter Hunter, and Genshin Impact so far. I don't play Genshin because I lost my book. What I happened? I spent two hundred dollars to try to get Ayato, and I the, the fit I lost the fifty fifty. And then you said I can't do this anymore. Yes. But that's probably that might be a good decision given that you gotta. If you can't say no, you know what I mean. If you're just opening up your credit card every time, like you gotta, you might have to take a break. Yeah. I don't want anybody to play to the point where they, you know. I mean, I don't get any of that anyway. <laughs> but uh, you gotta take care of yourself first. Okay. Thank you so much, by the way. You are so welcome. I'm gonna write Hisoka on here too. Sure. It's weird. Don't look at it. It's so weird. Yes, I can. There we go. Look at that. 
thank you so much. But I also that's actually for you. It's a gift. No. I meant to give that to you at Indie PopCon two years ago, oh but you had to cancel. It's so beautiful. Can I open it? Absolutely. Awesome. There's a button in there too, I believe. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so beautiful. Adorable. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Trina. Oh, if, would you like me to sign this? Absolutely, yes. please. Oh wow, you already have a few. Yep. You got Bryce, you got Jessica, you got Lauren, and then you have um, Jason. Jason Liebrich. I'm going to sign in silver. Is that okay? Absolutely. Should I make it out to you or just sign? Just sign, please. Of course. I'm going to sign above Bryce. I'm going to use a Can I include you in the vlog? Oh, yeah. I will totally get in this video. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> I love Sarah, and I follow her on Twitter, and she's fabulous. And Instagram. Oh, and Instagram, yeah. That's awesome. I How love getting to you see you every year. Other? She comes to this con, and I got to meet Sarah here, here, here at the con, here. and then you started coming to my panels in the roast and got to know you, and you've got a great sense of humor, and Thank I think you. you're good people. I can't wait. Are you going to go to the roast tonight? I am, yes. Awesome! Serena may be making a guest appearance. Maybe. And hope to God no one records it because someone nope. has to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, no, oh, no. no phones allowed this year. Yeah. That stinks. Yeah, someone recorded one year and I'm like, someone has to ruin it for everyone else. Yeah. Here you are, my love. Okay, right. you me thank, you. thank you. So much. I, I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I didn't get any um, video meeting he Kent because um, I wanted to save some money, but he loved the little Mr. Compress um, keychain I got, and I looked so tired because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd show off all, and also this is the first time I've gotten all my autographs done. So yeah, um, I got all my autographs done, so there will be no more of those this weekend. So I can just relax and just go around the dealer's hall doing all that jazz and meet up with friends. So I thought I'd show off what I got while I'm at it. So Bill but signed my My Hero hat right there. And then Xander Mobis signed my Persona 5 hat right there. And then I'm trying to remember who else. Um, I believe I went to Lauren next. Lauren Landa signed right there. And then let me find the page for where Kiba signed. And then Keeble Walker signed my Black Clover autograph book. And then I was worried about showing this on YouTube, but it was already on the video for when Jessica was signing it. She signed my Dog and Scissor DVD cover. And then Richard F. Carr signed my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure hat. And then Keith Silverstein signed my Hunter Hunter hat. And then Trina Nishimura signed my Attack on Titan hat. And then last but not least, Kent Williams signed my Dragon Ball Z hat. So tonight we have um, a Demon Slayer photo shoot, which I'm not sure if I'll record for. Um, but then we have the roast, which you're not allowed to record for, but apparently people still were recording. Why? Like, just why would you do that? It's not allowed. <laughs> but anyway, so I've got that, and then I'm gonna be really exhausted. I need food, so I'm gonna go get food, and then maybe hang out with some friends and do that. So I'll see you guys around. Also forgot to mention, I got two prints from Bill Butts. All right, so I'm here for the roast. Um, I know for a fact I cannot film that. Um, and I am tired, so I don't know if I already said I got all my autographs for the entire weekend, which has never happened before. So, um, after the roast, I'm going to go right home, right to bed. So, yeah, there's not going to be much to talk about afterwards. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.
All right, so we are at the convention. I'm cosplaying Kokomi Terahashi from The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. And it's a pretty chill day. There's not much going on. <laughs> um, so, oh God, this wig. I love it, but it's just so long. Um, so today we're gonna walk around the dealer's hall. I'll get my bubble tea at last. And um, I may go to Trina Nishimura's Q&A panel. I'm not sure how I feel. But then we've got who the F is Justin Nordell, which I know I can't record for. Um, and then I may stay out late. I don't know. We'll see. And yeah, that's our day-to-day -day plan. So I may or may not see you for Trina's panel um, or if anything else happens. Uh, does anyone have a question? Oh, yes. What's the most emotional scene you've recorded so far? Ever? Ever. Gosh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, or um, top five if you can't sure. pick one. Um, <clears throat> I once recorded a show called. Uh, in a sh or I was recorded in a show called. Oh, what was that show called? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the name of the show. It was about fifteen years ago. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess one of the more emotional. Uh, Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan has a lot of emotional scenes. Um, but I think the most emotional show that uh, really rocked me as a human and a person, because I am a person, um, <laughs> was probably Steinsgate. Steinsgate was really uh, charged uh, emotionally. Have you seen it? Not yet. It's not a lighthearted anime, and it is not something that's like, oh, this is a happy one. Uh, it takes a little while to get into because there is so much information uh, that's actually fact-based, but it's also um, beautifully written. Uh, the first season, um, J. Michael Tatum and Patrick Sykes wrote, and it is lovely. Uh, there are lots of Easter eggs from Doctor Who and Star Trek and all these other things. Uh, but yeah, she, um, Kurosu, had a very traumatic past, and uh, she had a lot going on, um, and so she... Um, yeah, she, she... It was definitely one of those, like, when I'd get home, my partner would be like... I would, uh, my partner would text and be like, so is it the hard show today? And, I, and if I was like, it's Steins Gate, then he'd be like, oh, so tacos or pizza? <laughs> uh, and then he'd always make sure I had like a pizza or tacos or some comfort noms when I got home. Uh, it was really, so I mean, it was hard, but it was also, uh, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, so <laughs> there was a lot of crying. Um, but yeah, so that's, I think, the most challenging. Uh, speed Rapper! That's what it was called! Speed Rapper! Uh, but yeah, she was really messed up too. Um, so, other questions? I'm not supposed to be buying okay. stuff. But I'd been thinking about getting... Hold on, I'll explain the story in a sec. So I've been thinking about all weekend, I'd seen these all weekend, getting all three of uh, Tengen's wives, Suma, Hinatsuru, and Makio all weekend, and so I got them. And then this little guy, <laughs> so I was walking around with some friends and one of them wanted the, wanted this lunar moth and I was like going like, please buy me, I'm so cute and adorable. And she didn't get it and then I'm like, oh god, I want it now. <laughs> so I got it because it's cute and adorable and I should not be spending my money, I am, ugh. And my wig is a mess too, but um... I forget if I've said we have, we're waiting to, for who the F is Justin Nordell, and then I'm gonna hang out with some friends, so you guys probably won't see me for the rest of the night until Sunday, so I will, unless something else happens, see you guys tomorrow. All right, good morning, Martians, and once again, I'm Shinobu in my room. <laughs> um, so I have some time in between, so I thought I'd, um, uh chat about our day today so today we have it is also by the way i had to be up at 6 45 oh god i'm gonna be so tired anyway so um we've got food opinions that'll get you canceled with xander mobis and that's pretty much it and then i may go around the dealer's hall and um uh meet up with friends again see what happens from there but it's a very very boring day. Not boring, but you know what I mean. It's a very easy day today. Okay, yeah, my wig's fine. So, I will see you guys for Xander's panel. So, I decided not to record the Xander panel. Um, 
And um, yeah, so I'm around the dealer's hall and I got two different kinds of bubble tea for us to try. I got taro and honeydew because I've never tried those before. My poor wallet. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive, but still I shouldn't have. So we're gonna try the taro first. better but pretty good now the honeydew and that tastes just like melon I don't know what to give that out of but that was it I'm gonna wander around the dealers hall a little bit um and then hang out with some friends and then I'll you know give my usual outro once the con's over so I'll see you guys around so I forgot to show Justin Nordell sign my badge because I wanted him to. And I also got this free signature card from Trina Nishimura. Otherwise, things have, I went to closing ceremonies and things weren't too eventful afterwards. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that bell if you want to keep up with my videos. Hit subscribe if you want to become a Martian. Remember to be strong, be confident, and be brave. And I'll see you guys next time.